guys, um, welcome to my tutorial on command prompt. Alright, so today we're going to be learning how to create and delete user accounts, um, give them administrator privileges, uh, and uh, change the password, or change um, the user's password without even knowing what the one before it is. So, go ahead and open up command prompt. Um, if you don't know how to open up command prompt, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. So, um, first of all, type in net space user. Alright, that'll just tell you um, who is, how many accounts are on your um, computer. I'm going to go ahead and go to my control panel, um, user accounts, manage other account, just to show you. Um, that I've only got my one account. It says the guest account is turned off. So I'm Tom Lacomi. Um, I'm an administrator and I've got um, password protect on. So I'm going to hit back and make that smaller. So now I'm going to add an account. We're going to call it test. So I'm going to type in net space user space and then what you want your account name to be. So I'm going to say test. Um, space forward slash add so net space user space then your account name which mine's test space forward slash add it says command completed successfully so I'm going to go back down here manage other accounts and there you see it right there it's test and it's only a standard user so it doesn't have administrator or password on um, go back and minimize that now we're going to make it an administrator. So I'm going to type in net space local group L O C A L space um, administrators space and then the name of the account and space forward slash add. And it said the command completed successfully. Um, I'm going to go manage accounts and continue. Now it's telling me that it's an administrator, um, but it still has no password protect. Before it was just standard user. You might, you probably won't be able to see see this, um, but you're just going to have to go with, go trust, trust me with this one. Um, anyway, now we are going to put a password on. So what you type in is net space user and then test and then put one of those little asterisks now it says type a password for the user so I'm going to put in test it will it, um, for some reason it won't come up but just press enter and then confirm it press enter and it says command completed successfully I'm not sure why but um, where it says type a password when you type it in it doesn't show up the actual characters and when it says retype to confirm it won't show those up either but it will be putting in that password alright um but anyway now I'm just gonna go back into user accounts and hit continue right there and it says it's password protected alright now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you say we didn't know that password and um, but you knew the name of the account you're going to be going net space user space um, test space and then an asterisk again and now it's just going to ask you it doesn't even ask you to type in the current password it doesn't ask you to type in the old password it just asks you to type in the um, the a new password for it so this time I want it to be test2 test2 and it says it completed successfully so um, now it's gonna be test2 instead of test and you can do that for any account if you know the name you can get into a command prompt you can type in net space user space the name of the account space asterisk and um, that'll just bring you up to type a password for the user you'll be able to type whatever you want and um, and yeah you, you'll have a new password for that so 
to remove the account, all you're going to be doing is um, typing in net space user space um, test space forward slash and then del. You can either put del or delete, but um, I'm just going to put del, and it tells me the command completed successfully. So um, that's it for this uh, this episode of. Uh, of well my episodes so um anyway take care and catch you next time i will be putting the um the all the commands in the description for you all right so take care and